Welcome back everyone. Here we have another review of a Cedar Point roller coaster. Today I'm going to be discussing Raptor, a B&M inverted coaster that opened in the year 1994. B&M was a very new company at the time, and they had just very recently introduced the inverted coaster concept with Batman the Ride at Six Legs Great America in 1992. So Raptor is one of the very early inverts, and it features a unique layout with six inversions. When it opened, it was the tallest and fastest invert. It stands at a height of 137 feet, has a drop of 119 feet, a track length of 3,790 feet, and reaches a top speed of 57 miles per hour. So by today's standards, nothing spectacular with the stats, but pretty good for an inverted coaster. The inversions featured on this ride are a vertical loop, a zero G roll, the Cobra roll, and two corkscrews. Overall, Raptor is a really intense ride, and it still holds up very well 25 years later. Raptor has a lot of big fans. There's a huge fan base surrounding this ride. It's pretty understandable. I mean, this is a, a classic ride, very iconic for Cedar Point, going along that main midway there, and it's just really fun and intense. Raptor is a very smooth ride. I have had a few really rough rides on it in the past, but for the most part, Raptor is a, a really smooth ride with the slightest rattle sometimes. I will say I think the roughest part of Raptor is definitely that Cobra roll. I still don't really find it to be awful. It's pretty good actually but it is pretty bumpy there. I usually get some head banging going through that Cobra roll. Being an old school B&M invert, Raptor is pretty intense as you might expect. The most intense parts of the ride are the zero G roll, the two corkscrews, and that leg numbing helix at the end. It's great. So Raptor has a lot of great whip going through the inversions, especially if you're sitting in the back seat. Front seat, not so much, but if you're sitting in the middle or in the back, you're going to get some great whip over those inversions, especially that zero G roll. I love the zero G roll on this ride. I've never had a trimless ride on Raptor. I can only imagine what that would be like. I'm sure that second half of the ride would be quite amazing without those trim brakes on. I've never experienced it. Hopefully I'll get to one day. But as it stands, Raptor is one of my favorite coasters at Cedar Point, and I think a lot of people could agree with that as well. It's a very intense ride that features a nice variety of inversions, and it's very nice looking. There's not really any theme to Raptor. Literally, the only theming is the name, and that's it, but it's Cedar Point once again. So theming definitely is not an important part of this coaster. Overall, I think for the time that this ride opened, B&M did the best that they could have done with this. They utilized the land very well, having it run along the main midway there. It's a very iconic looking ride, and it's a great way to greet guests as they enter Cedar Point. Raptor is just a really iconic ride on the Cedar Point midway, and I just love hearing that good old B&M roar as it flies through the steel track. Of course, now you have Gatekeeper at the front, which opened almost 20 years afterwards. But this was definitely the major front gate coaster for a long time, and arguably still is. Overall, Raptor is not a perfect ride, but it's very intense. Focuses a lot on those G-forces. Has a pretty good variety of elements. It's a long ride. I'm going to give Raptor a score of 8 out of 10. It doesn't rank nearly as highly for me as it did at one time, but this ride has been around for 25 years. It still holds up very well. One of the best coasters at Cedar Point, and it's, it's truly stood the test of time. What are your guys' thoughts on Raptor? Is it one of your favorite coasters at Cedar Point? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have more reviews coming out in the near future from some different parks. And be sure to like my page on Facebook, which is Coaster Daddy, and follow me on Instagram at Coaster Daddy Official. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Bye.